Okay, hey there everyone, Menaro here and welcome to Strange World, an RTS survival in early access. <laughs> okay, just got the notification. <laughs> okay, the internet's really snow right now because, well, it's raining. And with that, I'm playing an offline game. This is tag offline, hopefully it really is. <laughs> okay. And with that, let's start. Hopefully that it doesn't lag too much. <laughs> if you already know this game, you may consider using skip button tutorial section. This may be too loud. Where, where am I? Ah, I'm feeling kinda nauseous. I need to get out of here. Okay. Tap to select Michael. You can also select Michael by tapping his icon. Tap here to move Michael to the marker. Okay. Great, now on to the next marker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stop. It doesn't look friendly. Is it there? I'm just passing by. Um tap the wolf to attack it <laughs> you said you're just passing by and yet <laughs> you're the one who's attacking first okay he beat first but it looks like you're intent on killing one kind of wolf uh, okay <laughs> what kind of wolf was that it's unlike any i've seen before I should be careful just in case his friends are around. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks like some kind of weapon. Okay. I tap too quickly. Tap on the spear to collect it. This is Michael's infantry. Everything he collects can be seen here. Okay. Tap on the spear to equip it. Fighting an enemy with weapons can be the difference between life or death. Ending fights quickly with weapons will reduce the damage character stake. Characters? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kinda stupid that it attacks. <laughs> it should kill one first. We better use our weapons to deal with these predators. Hand to hand combat should be our last resort. Mm -hmm. Um, follow the path. Okay, over here. They are tougher than I thought. I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Let's see how they handle a power shot. Each character have a unique battle skill that can turn the tide of battle. Tap on the skill button, then target the wolf to use Michael's power shot. Tapping on the skill button. Select the target. Mm -hmm. You have a gun? That was close, I really need to get out of here. Hopefully there's help up ahead. Not more of these mutated wolves. Why are you using a spear instead of that gun? Okay, now I have a gun. What's this gun doing on the ground? Seems a bit convenient. Someone dropped it in a panic. Finders keepers and seems to be in working condition. Characters can hold multiple weapons and items simultaneously. Tapping on a weapon will equip it and automatically unequip the previously equipped item. Mm -hmm. so. Help! Is anybody there? Another survivor. Hey, where are you? Keep talking. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Help me, please. I'm over here. Hang on, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. 
Are you alright? You injured? Of course. No, I'm fine. Thanks for coming. <laughs> you just got beat. I don't know how to get how I got here. I've been conscious for a few hours trying to get my bearings before this thing came out of nowhere and attacked me. Do you have any idea where we are? Same here, I woke up in a bizarre pod nearby here. I was hoping you'd be able to give me some answers. What is your name? Whatever the case, at least I'm not alone. My name is Lisa. If you're here, that means there may be others too. We should search for others. Maybe they know what happened. Agreed, we should keep moving. I'm Michael, by the way. You've joined up with Lisa. Her battle skill is a remote control bomb that will automatically attack the closest enemy. You can se select and deselect everyone by tapping on the select all button. Okay, no weapon. Get out of the forest! Wow! A weapon! Another gun in good condition too. Seems a bit deliberate by this point. I picked one up earlier before I found you. Maybe someone was fleeing and accidentally dropped it. <laughs> Whatever the reason, we should just take it. This is what I like. I didn't notice the snake. That snake is huge. It looks like wolves aren't our only concern. All the more reason we have to get out of here. We won't be able to hunt much more of this. But where should we go? Team is under attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's an opening over here. Maybe it'll lead us out of this forest. We don't have much choice, do we? Hopefully it's a way out. Let's move before it gets dark. Victory! Finish without it. Defeat. Finish under 30 minutes. Okay. Challenge is gonna be harder every time. The later stages. <laughs> Okay, looks like a post-apocalyptic. Feels like we have been walking for hours. Is it just me or did our things started rotting on the way here? It's like there's something in the air breaking down our stuff into storage. It's getting late, we won't be able to see where we're going. We should set up camp for the night and get some rest. We should gather some supplies and search for some food. Um, find a spot to rest up. Well, would you look at that? Somehow this machine looks familiar, but I'm only getting small fragments of memory. What does this thing do? Some sort of weapon? A communication device? This task bar, click the icon to check the current objectives. Collect the strange fruit. What strange fruit? Ah, okay, I see. Tap on the push to collect the fruit. Full inventory. Nicely done. Characters automatically deposit resources into the storage box when their inventory is full. They can store supplies sooner by sending them to the storage box or clicking on the home button. Tap the home button to send workers to the storage box. Okay, that's home. Mm -hmm. Once you have collected enough ingredients, you can convert it into food at the cooking station. <laughs> That's a cooking station. Select a character, tap on the storage box. 
select a recipe fruit juice up here to character will continue to work at the station even after you close the menu mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not the tastiest food, but it will do. At least we won't starve. It will suffice until we find another sources for food. For now, we can make rations out of this fruit. Good job! Food and other items can be crafted at the facility. Simply assign a character and pick the recipe you want to craft. You can queue up multiple recipes to be crafted in sequence. This is how much food you have. This is how much food is consumed periodically. If you run out of food, character's health will start to drain. Be sure to regularly check your total food supply before that happens. Remember, you can convert resources into edible food at the cooking station. Tap on the collects to collect them. Tap on the stones to collect them. Mm -hmm. Stones and logs. Tap on the home. Mm -hmm. Tutorials. Next, later on, characters automatically deposit resources into the storage box when their inventory is full. They can store supplies sooner by sending them to the storage box with home button. Uh, can I repeat? Tap on the crafting station. Tap this button to access its menu. Select the axe. Tap on the crafting button. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm. Stone and lugs, sticks, then food for fruits. Great job! You can now take the items out of the storage box. The crafting station is an important asset that will provide invaluable aid. Use resources you've collected to create devastating weapons and useful tools. Tap on the storage box. Tap this spot on to access its menu. You can see all the items you have collected and crafted. Tap the item to take it out of the box. Okay. Tools such as the axe can be used to collect resources from certain sources. Mm, the trees. Use the axe to collect wood from the trees and cut a path out of the area. Mm -hmm. We're making good headway. This is definitely a base station of some sort. Mm, give me a second. I think it's more than that. I'm bringing the entire system back online. Look, it's putting up. War, you're resourceful. How did you manage to get it running? I don't know. It's all just coming to me. Wait, there's a bipedal function allowing it to become mobile. Great, we can bring it along with us then. Are there weapons on this thing? Let me check. Darn, no weapons. If we get attacked, we should probably defend this thing. It's our best chance of survive, surviving this mess. Survive it. Tap on mobile base. Tap on the transform button. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wow. Good work. Now the base can be selected and moved like any other character. Remember to bring the base with you as explore so you can use its function. The home button will select the base if no other characters are selected. Don't leave the area without it. And tap on the station's icon then drag it to the finger to select them. Mm. Ah.
Any clues to where we should go? Here, the mobile base has been pinging this location ever since we started moving. From the radar, this entire area seems to be an island. The signal is leading us to the edge of this island. Maybe they'll lead uh, to some escape pod or pod. An island? Not what I was hoping, but the signal is there for a reason. Not much option at this point. Let's follow the signal. Victory! <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like Ooh wow. It's like there's gonna be a really long storyline here. For an offline game. It's good. I just run a check on our resources. We have plenty of materials but are running out of food. This rate will starve unless we find a spot with some food. Hopefully we'll find something when we reach the edge of the island. Otherwise, this will all have been for nothing. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go, let's go, to go, to go. Ooh. So this is the site. Seems to be plenty of stuff around here. Michael, look over there. Is that a nest? A den? Whatever it is, there are creatures coming out of it. You're right, so far all the creatures we've encountered are hostile. Let's not risk it and clear the nest before setting up base here. Okay, let's go kill this one first. Wow, they have spears. Alright, nest is cleared. Let's set up the base. Select the mobile base. Mm -hmm. Alright, we should be able to hold out here for a few days. Hey, wait! Over there! Thank goodness, it's a ship. It looks like it can support the mobile base too. We can finally get off this island. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Don't get your hopes up just yet. What's wrong? The ship is remotely activated. Without a paired signal, the ship won't start. A signal. Wait. The mobile base has been pinging a signal. Maybe we can use the signal to pair with the ship? Just a sec. Got it! I rerouted the signal from the mobile base to the ship. The signal should pair, but it'll take some time to signalize. How long are we talking about? About a day, so we're still stuck here. Hmm, the ship is relaying something back to our mobile base. Looks like a database. Michael, look, the ship uploaded the new crafting schematics to our base. Just need to find the materials for it. Hmm? What are... I'm cold. Get me campsite. Michael, I'm starting to get cold. Do we have any food left? I need some food to stay warm. If we use food to stay warm, it will burn out of food supplies quickly. Let's check the crafting station. Maybe we can make a campsite. During the night, your character's upgrade will increase dram dramatically. Certain uh, items like campfire can help keep characters warm and normalize their upkeep. Mm. Top of the crafting station access its menu. Oh, there are a lot of <laughs> craftable things. Go. Crafting complete. Take out the campfire. Okay. Much better. If it gets this cold at night, we should make sure to have a campfire ready. Otherwise, our food supplies will be depleted quickly. Keep characters close enough to the campfire to stay warm. The first glow shows its area of effect. Uh -huh. See. Let's collect some food. Uh 
Wow, so machine gun. <laughs> you wanna build? Look over there. They're coming for us. Get ready. The ship signal has synchronized. Let's get out of here. Ooh. What the? We're surrounded. They're not going to let us leave. Looks like we will need to fight our way through. Arm yourself. In the there we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> I'm shooting a lot. Okay, why are you still collecting? Fight! The heck? I'm still collecting. Oh man. <laughs> I didn't do it properly. <laughs> the ship signal has synchronized. Let's get out of here. Victory! <laughs> oh, I should have created more food. Wow, what is this? What is this place? Some type of naval base? We can use this as our base. It's certainly a great find, but it doesn't seem like there's any food here. We'll have to head out and scavenge for some every now and then. Whoa! Welcome message. Does this place have some kind of automated AI system? Or did someone leave this message? What is that blip on the map? This stress beacon. Someone probably activated it. It doesn't seem too far away. We should be able to get there quickly. I don't know how long the beacon's been active for, but hopefully whoever activated it, it is still there. The distress signal is not too far from here. Just up ahead. Keep your eye out. Okay. The heck is that? Over here. Help us take these things out. Hold on. Thanks, I guess you saw our distress signal. Where did you guys come from and what is that? I'm Michael. Michael. <laughs> I'm Michael. This is Lisa. We got off a ship, I guess. Not far from here. Far, far, far. We saw an activated distress beacon in a shelter we found and we headed over there to see who activated it. I'm Eva. It is nice to see other people. I sent the signal a few days ago while making my way around this area. I found team and we've managed to hold out for two days now. Unfortunately, we're running out of supplies. Are there any on that ship you came from? Pretty much the same situation for us, but this machine we found can convert this weird fruit and draw meat into edible rations. There's a crafting station as well that allows us to make some basic tools and weapons. Fascinating. Looks like you two have been faring better than us. Guess we should group up and combine resources. We spotted a small town from a higher elevation earlier, maybe two clicks this way. I think it is a small town. Visibly isn't great around here. Not sure if it's inhabited. 
We were trying to make it there, but this area is heavily infested with these critters. With our combined resource and the mobile base, I'm sure we can clear the area out and get to the town. Tim and Eva have joined the group. Tim has considerably higher health and attack power, while Eva uses facilities faster. Take advantage of Tim's spinning axe and Eva's holographic turret abilities to change the tide of battle. Although we got some extra rations with us, we can still make more food rations right away. I'm sure you two are starving. Better keep your energy up if we're to make it past this area. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, fix. Okay, possible. Mm -hmm. This machine is so intricate. You don't mind if I take a look at the system? Interesting. Seems like the upgrade data price is malfunctioning. There's a huge backlog of advanced pu blueprints. Blueprints. <laughs> but access sequence is scrambled. However, if we can supply it resources, the sequence should align itself in patches. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Eva, your base have been have been gained. New features. You can now upgrade the base by using materials you can find in this area. This will unlock higher tier recipes, items for crafting. Mm -hmm. Top here to access the base. With a character selected, you can send them to upgrade the facility. Mm -hmm. uh, need the resources. Stations cannot be used while being upgraded, so choose wisely. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of resources stored. So with that, let's get moving. The heck? Lucky us, look what we've got here. The traps I laid out work. We got some fresh ones here. That'll be tonight's dinner. You don't mean we're gonna eat those? Are you sure that's safe? That's what I thought too at first, but they're actually not bad once you're used to the bitter taste. You mentioned the mobile base has a food processing function. We can use that to make more palatable. You will need a knife to harvest animal resources from defeated enemies. Recipes involving animal resources will generally give more food than fruits. Craft a knife and place it on a character to extract this valuable food source. Okay, let's go over here. Create weapons can help. It's the challenge. Craft handgun, SMG, sniper, and shotgun. So you need metal to sniper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six more pieces. Okay. Yes. Okay. I think I need pickup. Three boots need. They're coming, get ready. Campfire.
Oh, yeah, big piece. Big piece, big gun. Okay, what's for the sniper? Tintin for the shotgun. Guys, we should move on. I think we've ex exhausted this area. Hmm? It's night time already. That seems to be the last of them. Let's clear them up just in case we make a return trip through this area. Up, up, up. No, 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 no. Not yet. No. Why did I tap immediately over there? <laughs> Let me just make my weapons. and then put up a shingle Did you do that? No, 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 no! I hate myself. Don't tap anything. Just collect fruits. Someone go do this. Then everyone, let's go. Time to get started. Guess I should be glad I didn't take some cushy office job. You remember what happened to you before you arrived here? Haha, <laughs> no, it's just an expression. Both Eva and I have been trying to figure out what's happening, but we're only getting bits of pieces of memory. Not enough to remember, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Rescue 13. Okay. There's still more. Okay, whenever you fail or complete a level, you can return to the fortress. You have earned some currency, let's use them at the shop. Draw, what's draw? Premium cryopod, confirm. Let's see. You pick up some character points for Michael, let's use them. Characters you have unlocked can be tapped on 
to assign them to your party. Wow, they're not. <laughs> you can also view details of each character here. This screen displays all the information about a character. Tap here to level up your character. Level up. Tap the button again to spend coins for leveling up. Mm -hmm. The stage select button can be used to pick another game mode. The story button can be used to select the next stage of the storyline. The daily button will introduce special levels that rotate on a daily basis. You can pick from 4 game modes a day for gems and coin rewards. Defense, survival, and is Wow. Each game mode has different objectives that will be changed daily. You're free to access all of the fortress functions now. Okay. And with that, I'll end the video here. <laughs> what a fun game. Managed to play it till the end, doesn't really need the internet, and I played it smoothly this time. <laughs> and so, thank you for watching, hope you enjoy, and with that, bye bye! See you in the next one!